What do you got? Oh, I saw another one of those shrimp. Yeah. Trying to catch one of those shrimp, they're so fast. I haven't really seen any of the big ones. No, that would be much cooler. Well, here, let's check out these plants. Low overhangs like this would be great places oh, yeah. to find basilisks. That's spiky? Yeah, it's definitely spiky. Watch this one. Oh, there's a snake right there. Where? Look at the back of its tail. Hold on. I don't see it. Where is it? Coming oh. Coming the tree branch. Oh. There it is. Yep. What a snake is that? The water. like a little boa. No, 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 no. Hold on. Gotcha. Ah. Yes! Wow! Cool. That is a bromeliad boa. Actually, it's a very elusive species that you very rarely see. I thought it was an actual boa constrictor. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, back up a little bit. Let's everybody back up a few steps. Couple steps, couple steps. The here. There's a little clearing over here. Wow! I have never seen one of these snakes in the wild. They are incredibly elusive, semi-arboreal. They go up into the trees every once in a while to hunt, and being a primarily nocturnal species, that's exactly what this reptile was doing. Look at that. You guys are probably thinking to yourselves, Coyote, you just grabbed that snake right out of the tree. Weren't you afraid? I could easily tell that this was a non-venomous snake. I actually thought it was a boa constrictor. Now they are related, and this is the smallest boa species that we have here in Costa Rica. You know what it feels like? What? It feels exactly like the rubber boas that we were catching in Northern California. Mark, put your hand out there. Tell everybody at home what that snake feels like. Oh yeah, <sighs> just like a fishing lure. Isn't that cool? Very soft. <sighs> My hand is shaking right now out of excitement, not because I'm afraid of this snake. It is very docile. Look at its ability to just project its head outward. They're amazing climbers. Oh, okay. Oh, sniffing my nose, Is that checking a good idea? out. Yeah, completely safe. Completely safe with a non venomous snake, and they very seldom bite. Now, I'm guessing this is probably a female. Females do grow larger than the males, and this is about maximum size, two feet in length. Uh, this one's a little less than that. They can grow to be about 30 inches, but like I said, they're incredibly elusive because look at this camouflage. Watch this. I'm going to set the snake down in the leaf litter. Ready? Follow my hands down. Look at that. The snake completely disappears. It looks just like the leaves, the dirt, and the rocks. And you could be walking right through this environment, actually be shining your flashlight down at the ground, and you may never even see the snake. Unbelievable. Look at the pattern. On the this pattern is incredible. Look at all these little tiny brown leaves, and this snake can easily just disappear into the underbrush if it needed to. Give me a little snake. And these snakes have an unbelievable ability to balance their bodies. Now it was up on that palm frond, and watch this, it will just slither up the length of my arm. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, it's a boa. Does that mean that they constrict their prey? As a matter of fact, they do. And what these snakes are out here hunting for are small lizards and frogs. They are opportunistic, so any little invertebrate would also, oh, would also be fair game. I thought it was going to strike at me there. It's just very curious. Sensing me with its tongue, it sees all these bright lights and it's thinking, ah, uh, this could be a good place to hunt because lights oftentimes attract geckos and bugs. Let's talk about the demeanor of this snake. It, it seems very docile. Oh, it truly is. As you can see, it's very slow moving and they are, they're very docile, not prone to biting. I mean, obviously it's not gonna try to eat something like a human, not a creature that you ever need to be afraid of. And of course they are non-venomous. The way that they kill their prey, just like a larger boa constrictor, is they wrap their body around and constrict it, cutting off air and blood flow. And eventually that animal suffocates, dies, and then becomes a meal. Now let's talk about the name of the snake, the bromeliad boa. Now a bromeliad is actually a type of plant that you will find here in the rainforest. And these snakes can often be found hiding in the leaves or they'll build their homes up underneath the root structures. Another name for this snake is the banana boa. And that's because these snakes occasionally show up, believe it or not, in grocery stores because if they're up in a tree hunting, like a banana tree, they will hide in the clusters of bananas waiting for prey. And then if, you know, farmers are out there getting those giant clusters of bananas, look at that, it's crawling up on my hat. Then the snake ends up being transported out of its natural environment and sometimes even into a grocery store. Look at how strong it is, able to just pull itself up on my hat. A lot different looking than the rubber bow. Yes, very different looking, but similar 
in the way that it feels. Look at that. Ooh. Well, how cool is this? We're out here searching the creeks for shrimp and basilisk, and we come across the bromeliad boa. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's get this snake back up onto its leaves so we can keep hunting. If you thought the bromeliad boa was one wild looking snake, make sure to go back and check out my encounter with the rubber boa. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.